Hello and welcome to your June 21st Summer Solstice reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas' Star reading. This obviously is a, an add-on video, but it would be silly not to talk about the Summer Solstice. Um, so, here goes. <laughs> so, on June 21st, we have a Summer Solstice. There's only two solstices in a year, um, Summer and Winter Solstice. And the summer solstice means that the sun reaches its highest point in the star that it reaches all year, if that makes sense, thus making it the longest day of the year. And when the sun reaches the highest point, that's when we are fully illuminated. You can see what's going on. Um, you can, can do manifestation much more powerful it's much more uh, much e much easier for anything that you manifest to come through and come true if that makes sense simply because of the energy the sun is giving to all of us now in astrology for instance when people say they don't know the time of birth uh, which means certain things cannot be found out for you and yet what um people uh, do like myself because i write astrology reports for people if i don't know the time of birth i would set the time uh, to 12 to 12 o'clock which means 12 noon because that's when on any given day the sun is at the highest in the sky therefore i can see more assess more right even though um, it would not be a, um, a super accurate uh, depiction necessarily of one's birth chart if the um the, date of, the time of birth isn't quite known. The point is that this is um, there's a reason um, why we will look at the 12 noon thing simply because it is the highest energy. So when you then have a thing like the summer solstice um, or midsummer day, whichever whichever way uh, whichever way people call this, um, you have a magic in the air and a magical time simply because of the energy that the sun reaches as it reaches its highest point in the sky uh, which happens every year by clockwork on june 21st right so uh, we're not going to um, what people celebrate because that's very individualistic and um, you know uh, certain people uh, celebrate certain things that's not really what my channel is about the point is it is a special day um, and also back in the ancient times when people would look at uh, just observe the universe before necessarily there was a real understanding of how the universe in itself works and we still know very little how the universe works if that makes sense but the point is that it has been seen and is indeed seen as a um, reset button because the energy is so high and everything is illuminated that's the whole point with the sun um, you will be much more clear um, and and you you understand what you see in front of you and how this happened. Come on, Molly. <laughs> Just, my cat can't decide if she wants to come up or not. Um, anyway, so since this is a reset button, it also makes a lot of sense to, to use the 21st of June 2023 for your manifestation. My advice to you is to have a gratitude journal something where you write down three things or so that you're grateful for uh, every single day. Um, and while this initially might be difficult to find, eventually there's so many things that you notice that are just nice. Um, and that changes your attitude towards how you live your life and how you <coughs> see the existence of each, each and every day. And so, and that makes, that will make it easier when you then start um, making a list of manifestations. Come on up then, come on sweetie. Come on, Moll. Oi. Sorry about that. Come on, sweetie. Come on up. Hmm? Are you coming? Come on, sweetie. All right, good girl. Good girl. Hmm? Say hello, Molly. Hello. <laughs> so, that's Molly. That's my girl. Oh. So, a good idea is on the 21st of June to literally write down what you wish 
to come into your life um, and it's also a good idea because there's a reset button to maybe make a little list about things um, that you want to release and here's the trick you don't have to write uh, a bloody book about it um, you just whatever comes to your mind that still affects you somehow that hasn't been released you know um, you could even put numbers uh, on, on your sheet uh, just so you know that was a memory that I had and you take it so you do bullet points if that makes sense rather than relive the crap that you had to go through and then you um, release it now there's a couple of things that, that make sense on the 21st of, of, of uh, June most people obviously because of the, the fact that it's the longest day come together in the evening preferably after work and then there will be bonfires and all of kind of stuff right um, technically speaking, the sun is at its highest and at its strongest at 12 noon. So if you start writing down um, the things you want to release and the things you want to manifest on a piece of paper, maybe the morning or the night before, and then you burn that, uh, therefore give it back to the universe at noon, that will be the strongest time um, to do that. Okay, so that by default is the summer solstice. Now, on the 23rd of June, basically just, just sort of two days after, and as a matter of fact, on the 21st already, you can see the, the moon, which is obviously the, sort of the opposite of the sun, for want of better words, because the, the, the moon is the ruler of the night, the sun is the ruler of the day, where they overlap, there is eclipses happening, so they're not, they're not sharing space super well, but because they affect one another, and because like the moon the sun as well goes through phases and while these phases do not necessarily affect us as much as the moon phases do they have been measured since the 1750s because we know that the solar flares that the the the, the sun has to deal with and the phases in which they happen um, can affect the um, mag sorry, couldn't, couldn't, the magnetic field of the Earth, and the extension of that magnetic field is your aura. So people who are sensitive on the June twenty-first can also feel how much your aura is is safe and how much your aura is invaded. There's a really really simple thing that you can do. You just um, say to yourself, let me just see how my aura is working today. I always go to the solar plexus because it is yellow, just like the sun. And then you just feel here and then you extend your hand until you, until you stop feeling the energy of your aura. And that tells you how far the energy of your aura is, um, is out on that given day. And then, you know, technically speaking, you shouldn't let people, unless you love them, um, and have consented um, close to your aura. The point is, all these feelings that you have, you know, feeling invaded, feeling not appreciated, can also flare up because of the um, solstice. So it is really, really important to understand that um, when you are a sensitive person, um, and you would be, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be drawn to astrology. You also wouldn't be drawn to looking at your at you at guides and, and guidance so um you know we, we are <laughs> maybe a minority maybe not um but you are of this cloth and you are cut from this cloth and you are part of that tribe and that community and so you can bet your ass that you will be affected by the solstice right bottom line is understand when you are affected the way to deal with it is to do something about it in the easiest way is just number one to write this and get this off your chest write it down make a list right of, of the things that you want to achieve and the things that you want to let go i would probably to um do two separate pieces of paper because they have a different energy um, and then burn them one after the other there's no preference in which way you would burn them but but giving it to fire is also symbolic because obviously you are um, affected by the sun. The sun is fire, right? If that, if that makes sense. And so using the element of fire is important. Now, the reason why 
we also look at the moon is because the 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 the, 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 the summer solstice happens in the sign uh, well not in the sign but it is the time of cancerians right so the so the, so the months of 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 cancerians when it comes to the star signs that we're in and cancer is the only sign that is governed by the moon therefore the energy of the moon is in the air and when the cancer or the, or the energy of the moon is prominent and then the sun is prominent and they don't share space together when they're close together uh, or they don't share space well when they're close together you could be all over the all over the map and therefore it's understanding let's look at the moon for a second here how does this or how can this affect us and can it actually be of benefit and as a matter of fact it can because on the 21st to the 23rd already around, around that time the moon right is near mars and venus now mars and venus are both hot planets fiery planets gelling super well with the sun therefore the energy and and venus is sort of the energy that that is about you know how do i feel when it comes to my love life you know am i being appreciated here you know what would i like to change how do i truly feel so that is the venus energy and then mars is is really um the energy that tells you um um or is aware let's just say of your energy levels so when mars is in the picture um you have to watch your metabolism you have to watch your energy and because it is about hiring your energy when mars is about um that's the time when you kick ass and kicking butt by saying i'm going to manifest the crap out of this <laughs> and i'm going to burn what i don't need anymore it has an, an extra or an additional power that you could and should be using because these are opportune moments in time that are provided by the universe and you are ref uh, you are a reflection of the universe so of course whatever happens in the universe is happening inside you and is happening for you so using the energy that is happening on the summer solstice on the 21st and understanding that that power that comes with it doesn't ebb <coughs> until about the 24th of june makes this a very very powerful time so yeah um guys that is the um uh june 21st uh, summer solstice reading with myself thomas janak um thank you so much for watching as always i can't stress it enough please like subscribe and share and if you want leave a comment it's one of those things um hardly anyone leaves a comment and i kind of go like okay <laughs> would be lovely to read them in any case um you will find that obviously this is uh, this is another video in in june and then um, the next videos that will be uploaded um will be obviously the readings uh, for each star sign for july you also have noted that on my channel at this point in time there are some seemingly unrelated videos um, because i'm supporting diabetes uk um because i'm a type 1 diabetic I have been for 31 years and i do a fundraiser um and so i'm and so I film, you know, the push-ups that, that I decided to do or that I ag agreed to do, if that makes sense. And because um, it is easier to share them from a channel, and I don't want to just create another channel just for, for uh, me doing something for 30 days. So the entire month of June, I'm doing these 100 push-ups a day. Um, and so you will find that on my uh, channel, there are uh, all of a sudden videos showing up of me, uh, 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 you know, excruciatingly doing push-ups <laughs> right so bear with me uh, also there is different playlists on my channel um one of them is called energy readings and then the ones where, where the where the, the, the um the push-up videos are is called all sorts so maybe if you want to avoid them um you know look at the the playlist that has the readings and then only the readings are showing up anyway guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate you hanging out with me Thank you so much and I see you all very soon. Bye-bye.